Do you like plumbers? Well, I'm one, baby. That's a weird way to start the video. I just finished Mario Odyssey and it was, well, actually, I'll get to that. Before that, do you want to win a copy of Mario Odyssey? Check that link in the description below. If you want to play as a little Mario guy, who can throw his hat and become things. Wouldn't that be nice to become other things? There are days, man. There are days when I would like to throw this hat and just become something or someone else. Ah! No, 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 oh, yuck. Whoa, this is freaky, like Freaky Friday right now. Oh my, I'm finally Billy. Wood, are you inside me right now? Gross, dude. You want to talk about gross? How long have you had to take a crap? My stomach feels like ground beef right now. Ew. Here we go, off the rails. But you know it's time to raise our sails. It's freedom like you never knew. Oh, bags, <laughs> yeah. yes. Ooh. That was exciting. You know what else was exciting? Playing this for the first time. Oh yeah, I wasn't too sure if I was gonna love this game. I was so excited for Zelda. I got Zelda, I played it, I was done. I'm like, okay, I'm ready for the next big thing. But for me, I didn't know if that next big thing was going to be Mario Odyssey. I didn't know if I was gonna love this game as much as it was being hyped up. Was it overhyped? Was it worth the wait? Is it worth buying? This game is freaking amazing. I had so much fun playing this game. Did it compare to Zelda? That's something I'm gonna have to break down in another video. That's a whole nother topic with a lot of comparisons that I wanna go through. But a game standing up on its own right, a Mario game in the Mario franchise, this game completely blew me away from start to finish. I was addicted. I finished this game in about, I think 10, 11 hours with a lot of heavy exploring and collecting in that. And I just smashed through it in about three sittings. I can't tell you how much fun I had playing this game, but I'm gonna try. This is my video about Mario Odyssey and the fun that I had with it and then my recommendation of picking it up. I am so hyped about this game right now. I just finished it about two hours ago. I was sat in my room. I smashed out the ending while a bunch of kids were knocking on the door trick or treating. It was a good night, I gotta say. I don't even know where to begin. If you want pure fun, it's in the gameplay. It's in the platforming. It's in the exploration. It's in all of the little references to the entire Mario series over the last 30 years. You see callbacks to every other Mario game in the franchise, all the way back to the 8-bit Marios and including off-spin Mario. Mario, Super Mario World titles like Captain Toad. If you love Mario, if you've been invested in this world at any point, you want to dive into this. When they say Mario Odyssey, when they put a globe on the world, it's not just because you visit all these worlds and meet all these creatures and characters and all these zany worlds on the globe. It's because it is the Mario world. It is the Mario franchise. It is everything Mario in one game and I loved it. And it extends from the little things to the big things. The little things being some of the creatures, some of the enemies that you'll remember from way back when that you can actually be now. You can be a Goomba for the first time and then it goes to the big things where you explore the human-esque type world of Donk City and you have to beat Donkey Kong again like you did way back in the arcade or on the NES. It's full of moments that'll keep you engaged throughout your entire playthrough. Whether you're going for a complete collectathon first up, you will still be engaged and have enough fresh gameplay through the entire thing. It never got stale. Through all the worlds, through all the gameplay, through everything, it never once felt stale. Right through the end, I felt it was almost short. It almost ended sooner than I would have liked, but it still ended at just the right time. Any more and it might have been too long, any less and it would have been too short, but once you finish it, you still unlock a ton more stuff. So it ends at just the right place for you to keep on playing if you want, or to put it up on the shelf and just always reminisce on the amazing experience that was this game, but I highly recommend picking it back up and continuing it. There is so much to flesh out in the game. Graphically, I was very impressed. There was a couple of times I pulled my Switch out of the dock to put it in a handhold mode and my Switch was very warm and I'm not surprised because I feel like that little system might have been pushing itself to the limits already with this one. It was a gorgeous looking game with so many different landscapes. Sea, snow, water, weird landscapes they made up with purple lava, a food land, a moon land. You just kept 
exploring new places, the game was relentless. It didn't want to let up with the fresh gameplay throughout the entire thing. So graphically, it looked amazing. The music is what stood out to me the most. The music was incredible. From start to finish, every single track had so much life, had so much personality that added to every single level that brought it up. Again, Donk City with the Donkey Kong, the song on that level, just it gave me an experience that I will remember for the rest of my life. And the song at the end, the rock ballad that started in that last level, I'm not going to give any spoilers because I know a lot of people haven't finished the game yet because we're not even a week in, but the songs near the end were just, I want to hear rock remix covers of it, but even then, I don't need it because it's already so good the way it is. The music stepped it up and took this game to a whole new level. If there's a couple of letdowns, I will say that the game was maybe too easy throughout the entire thing. I found the last boss, the last kind of challenge, was the most difficult part of the game. It took me a few tries. I had to cheat and get one of the extra hearts so I could actually beat it. It wasn't anything that was a real hard challenge. This game is catered to kids too, which is something to, to take into consideration. And the challenge doesn't really come in the hard, intense gameplay. It comes in collecting everything, exploring everything, 100%ing the game. That is a huge challenge. Even just seeing every part of the world is a challenge. The other letdown might be the story. It's very basic Mario. I'm not going to ruin anything. There was a couple of nice hidden moments and laughs that I had and there was something that happened at the end that I thought was really cool and I haven't seen done before in a Mario game and it hasn't been done before in a Mario game. But overall, it's a very predictable Mario story. Bowser takes Peach, get her back. I would have liked to have seen something a little different, maybe an extra twist in there than what we were given at the end, but end of the day, that's all it really needed. But there was enough story in that along the gameplay to keep it moving along and to keep you engaged and invested in trying to get Peach back. The most fun in this game though, when it really comes down to it, it's the personal experiences that you have. It's the journey you go on. It's the little things that you find. It's the little memories that you find of past Mario games that you connect with, that you share the experience with. And it's something that I don't want to ruin. I don't want to stand here and go through all the things that I loved because I feel like the things I love the most are the inside references. It's the callbacks. It's the little nice moments that I love to discover for myself, even if it comes down to an outfit that you end up unlocking later in the game that just, I, I, there's certain things that I would love to talk about, but really you just need to go and experience it for yourself. If you've ever loved a Mario game, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, the earlier Marios, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, anything, if you've ever loved anything Mario, you'll find enjoyment in this game. They did such a great job. Is it my favorite Mario game? Yes, it honestly is at this point. I think it's awesome. Mario and Rabbids was really fun and I enjoyed it for a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons I've talked about before and I'd probably put that game maybe just under under this one somewhere and then in there is Mario 3 and the first Mario and one of the galaxies pick one but really when it comes down to it this one just did such a good job it took everything from other games built on it and made it amazing is it groundbreaking is it different to every other Mario in such an extreme way no it didn't really change the game it just added to it and gave us something new fresh and amazing to play is it worth picking up yes it's one of the few games that I would give a $60 price tag are worth it absolutely are worth it so much replayability you can replay it and replay it and replay it for hours and hours and hours you can collect, you can explore, you can share the world. That is Mario Odyssey. I again just finished it and I'm very hyped. I liked it a lot. I highly recommend going out and picking it up. I really do. Well guys, I hope me gushing about this game was acceptable. Again, I know so many people are doing it. So many people are covering it. You guys are probably sick of hearing it, but I would like to think that maybe some of you would want to hear my personal opinion and experience with the game. And I love it. It's an absolute no brainer. I love it. Remember to like, leave a comment down below and be subscribed because we've become best friends. And if you want to win a copy of this game, remember to check the link. It's in the description because I'm giving one away because I love y'all so much. I'm actually going to go keep playing this now because I am not done. I unlocked more stuff when I finished and if you guys know, if you guys have finished it and you know what's after you finish, you'll know why I'm so hyped to get back into it. I wanted to finish it before I reviewed it. It's amazing and I recommend it. Ew! Really, mother <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to be the outtake at the end? Yeah. <laughs> Come in and Drop it on his head. All right, that's a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Try and uh, no, 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 like, like. So you gotta go like that, but. but what if it doesn't land on your head? Oh, then we'll keep, we'll keep trying till we get it. That's called take two and take three and take ninety. Billy, 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 hill Billy, Billy, hey, um, Billy, oh, 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 pick up truck in Texas things. I'm Billy.
<laughs> That's how it sounds. <laughs> like, just uncanny. Know that you're my superstar. Know what I'm <laughs> 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 